Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. We are studying a pharmacognosy, sources of drugs is that today's topic. See, my dear students, the nature is very beautiful. Each and every part of the nature is a medicine. We don't know that. Only the thing is we have to aware it. We have to identify it in a proper manner. Right from the sun up to the soil having a medicinal properties. Right from vitamin D from the sun. Like that each and every part, almost each and every part of the nature is the uh, thing. And see, in this, uh, in, this talk, in this video, we will see the sources of the drugs. What are the various sources? We are seeing only the natural sources. See, we are not preparing paracetamol, ibuprofen, whatever we are preparing synthetically in the laboratory by using a chemicals. That is another part. We are not going to be touch the, uh, that part here. Synthetic drugs. Here only the sources of natural drugs. In the examination, they will ask you sources of drugs or sources of natural drugs. That is a today's topic. Okay. So I kept here. Plants are very excellent good sources of their and uh, see the animals are also pig uh, is a good source of insulin and uh, sea animals see this is a marine pharmacognosy very important topic marine pharmacognosy sea is full of animals sea is full of plants and uh, microorganisms we are preparing antibiotics naturally from the microorganism we are not going to be modify it semi synthetics that is another part naturally we are extracting okay and rocks, even non-living things also. All these are the living things. Here, if you come here, non-living things also. Showing uh, minerals, it consists of uh, minerals. Calcium, calcium stones. Sea stones, it consists of uh, various sources of minerals. Like uh, aluminum, iron. Iron is very, very important in the health. And uh, see, this is a plant tissue culture. We are going to cultivate the tissue, which part are uh, having a... Uh, Medicine, that part only we are isotic. So these, these topics will, uh, uh, yeah, sources of drugs. First, we will see the classification. The following are the natural sources of the drug. See, very, very important. Natural sources of the drug. First one is biological sources from living things. From living things, where the living things will be there? Terrestrial, from the earth, on the earth, which is on the earth, on the soil, like a plant, animals, and marine. From the sea, from the sea, sea plants, sea animals, etc. Microorganisms like a fungi, algae, bacteria, and mineral sources, non biological, very, very important. Mineral sources is also, also called as a non biological sources. It is from non living things, okay, like a sea, beach, sand, earth core. Uh, plant tissue culture, mining, earth core is nothing but mining, biotechnology, plant tissue culture. However, recombinant DNA technology, we are going to be adjust some of the things and that is another part. Uh, yeah, sources of drugs, see in your syllabus what they have given. These are four points are very important. Plants, animals, marine, tissue culture. Very, very important. They have, this is my mobile app. You can be find all my notes, all my presentations. Okay, here in the PDF format uh, for a quick review in the examination, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Go to the store option here. Okay, there you can be find the course, whichever you want, you can be uh, uh, join. And this is my YouTube channel. Here you go to the playlist. In the playlist option, uh, I arranged all my explanation videos in the form of a subject wise. And uh, if you click on the each subject, you will get a topic wise. Okay, right. First, we will see the plant source. It is a main source. Plants. Plants are the main source. See, we have a one biggest in India, we have one biggest advantage. It is possible only in India, not in any other countries. I will tell you, if you have a very good knowledge of the world map, I will tell you what is the greatness of the how the plants, why the number of medicinal plants are grow only in India. I will tell you the beautiful region. See, plant source, it is the oldest source of drugs. It is also a biggest source of the drugs among all other sources, remaining source. Most of the drugs, ancient time, we are derived from the plants only. Almost all parts of the plants are useful. Leaves, stem, bark, fruits, roots, 2.25 lakh species different plants are there, which fall under the 300 families, 10,000 genera. Only a small percentage of species were studied. Remaining full scope, still big scope is there for this. Subject pharmacognosy, only few plants were be isolated. 
See, India has a wide temperature range. If you see the Himalayas, we get a very chilly temperature. Okay, the plants which grow in that temperature, you can be find there. Whereas if you come to the Kanyakumari, here it is a very sunny. And in the Madhya Pradesh region, you will get a moderate temperature. See, from top to bottom, temperature varies. Right from this is possible only in India. So that's why what happened? We almost all types of plants. We either it grow in the uh, Himalayas or in the chill region, or either it goes under the sunny, sunny sun, or whatever it may be. Whatever any type of temperature, any type of humidity, you can be find in India almost all. The, okay, right. That is a speciality. And if you see the movie Seventh Sense, this is a Bodhi Dharma, a very beautiful movie. Here you can see Bodhi Dharma. Uh, hats off to the filmmakers and uh, beautiful heroine uh, Sruti Hasan and uh, talented actor Surya. You can be find Bodhi Dharma. See, nowadays investigators are facing a uh, numerous problems, hardens and problems. Uh, you have to collect the plant, you have to isolate the plant, and you have to extract the plant. Okay, and you have to go for what is it? In olden days, Bodhi Dharma, he didn't do such a thing up by seeing the smell, by seeing that you see the movie by touching sensation. By those days, it was because he has a seventh sense. Because we do not have that much of seventh sense and power, that's why we are uh, doing extraction, uh, identification, characterization, everything, and all. That's why thousands of species are still not investigated thoroughly. Because nowadays the investigators are facing a problems, even though they have a lot of equipment. In some areas, folklore medicines have recorded. In some areas, not been recorded still folklore medicine like uh, in the hill area and ethanobotanists see this name ethanobotanists are trying to gather the very good information still there and uh, these are the subjects like a botany pharmacognosy pharmacology phytochemistry uh, we need a teamwork among them and if you see i will give you the example beautiful examples here uh, digitalis these examples you have to write in the examination leaves digitoxin okay Sinkona, bark, quinine used for the malaria. Opium fruits, these are fruits, man, not mango fruits. If you are taking, eating this, uh, you are thinking it is a fruit. If you are taking like a mango fruit, you will be in the jail. It is a opium, that is a morphine. Okay, right. And uh, curcumin, very popularly we are using it. It's a rhizome, turmeric. It is having anti cancer, immunoblity. Everything it is having almost all proper. Animal source. See, animals are also a good source of the drugs. It is mainly important, very, very important drugs are derived from that because uh, I will tell you the examples also. Medicinal substances, see, people will hunt, will, they will go to the forest area, they will hunt the animal, they will kill it or they will anesthetize it, they will take the part, whichever part they want, they will isolate it. Medicinal substances are derived from the animal body secretions, fluids, glands, okay? And the animal sources are less when compared to the plant sources. But however, this is also very important. Used the ancient uh, and uh, China medicinal system, these plants. And here I have given a uh, line in the line, honey bee, honey, it gives the honey. Gelatin obtained from the ox, used for the caps, capsule, capsules. And wool fat, wool fat we are using as a base for the semi-solids creams, wool fat, okay, from the sheep. Cochlear, we are using as a coloring agent. These are the insects, okay? And uh, musk, musk deer, we are, musk is having a number of properties. Musk, insulin, we are diabetic patients. Pig is a god for them because uh, insulin, they are preparing from the pig. Insulin and heparin from the leech. And marine sources. C is a full of new scope of the drug. C, three by fourth of the, on the earth is a C only. C. Okay, she is a full of plants, full of animals. So marine pharmacognosy is a new terminology. It is a collection of the sea plants, animals is not easy because you have to go on the boat and you have to take a swimsuit. You have to uh, jump into the water and you have to go up to the bottom of the water and you have to collect the plant. Very difficult. Corals, sponges, fish and marine microorganisms produces biologically potent chemical. Here I have given uh, curcumin A, see here, curacin, not curcumin, it's a plant curcumin. It is a curacin A, curacin A, this is a, and uh, eleutherion, this is one, and it's like a uh, discord D molide, this is third one. Shark liver oil, vitamin A, compulsory for your eye. Shark liver oil, chitosan, it's a very good, excellent for uh, um, 
and microbial sources and uh, several life uh, saving drugs antibiotics penicillin from the microorganisms only they are preparing see antibiotics are those uh, compounds which are preparing from the microorganism itself to fight the uh, microorganisms okay if you are extracting naturally then you can say natural antibiotics if you are modifying the structure then you can say it is semi synthetic okay and if you are completely preparing only in the laboratory that is synthetic that is a synthetic antibiotic that is another part example is penicillium notatum see the first one streptomyces strepto uh, here also see the first one chloramphenicol from streptomyces menizulae this is streptomycin griseus and mineral source we came to the last see sea beach uh, rocks uh, all are full of it. minerals includes the both metallic and non metallic also they have been used as a drug since the ancient time our body requires the trace of the elements like aluminum potassium calcium magnesium ferrous sulfate iron deficiency magnesium sulfate purgative magnesium trisilicate peptic ulcer zinc oxide antacids we are using this zinc oxide skin protection gold salts anti inflammatory and rheumatoid arthritis selenium anti dandruff and uh, yeah last plant tissue culture see here particular plant we are not growing the entire plant outside the part which part of the plant is having medicinal property only that part we will be cut it and we will come to the laboratory that we will try to grow in the, the petri dish or in the test tubes or in the glass jars we are using benefits it saves a lot of time money because in outside total plant you have to grow it is a lot of time consuming lot of investment uh, it requires the manpower machine power but it is not like that in the laboratory which part you want you cut it and you grow in the dish highly useful when plant grow and this is very useful for rare plants endemic plants okay right so i'll end my session here